so their trash turned out to be my treasure. This one, 227. I had to cut the camera's dead ass. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Callie Ray Glam, and welcome back to Vlogmas, you guys. I have restarted my vlog over countless times y'all seen in the past vlogs, so I'm starting over again because it was running very long. So, yeah, so I restarted over because I'm getting ready to go out to eat with the girls. We're going to Olive Garden, and then we're going to the tree lot to go get our real tree okay so i am on my way there right now i'm kind of in a rush so because we came back in from running around and vlogging all day for vlogmas for yesterday but i'm starting over today so same day but we starting over again and then i might do something tomorrow i might just put it all into one or maybe not i think i might just keep it for tonight so yeah let's head to the tree lot and first we're going to get something to eat and then let's go get the tree i'm excited I hope you are too, so come along. But I need some gas money and a little half on that tree. A little bit, just a little bit. Just a little This one, 227. Is it a nine foot or a 10 foot? All right, you guys, we are back. Why well, gotta be so extra? It is an eight foot tree. I really wanted a nine foot. I'll say I'd get between seven to nine feet trees. And I always cuss and fuss about how I am going to never get one again. But it's just something about the smell, the scent of a real tree. And I think I, I think I'd be lying if I say I wouldn't want one. And y'all already put up these. I think I showed you guys. I'm not sure, but I do this every year. I put the same three things here. This, this one right here stands up so much better, y'all. Like last year, I got a sparse one. I paid like almost 190 or 180, something like that for. And it was like really sparse in the back. But this one, as soon as we walked in, before we walked in, my baby girl was like, oh, yeah, that one right there. And, or, or we need to look in this area. And as soon as we came in, she found it. Um, when you do get a real tree, this is what you got to deal with is all that stuff on the floor. A little pot of tea going. Okay, some chamomile tea to be exact. We got to, we cozying it down. We winding it down. When I came in earlier, y'all, I had to cut the camera's dead ass because I had to sweep up, okay, all of the pines. Um, that's the one negative about a real tree is the pines. And of course, here she is. Okay, we needed this to her to get up there because it got stuck. We already have Charlie Brown and now we have her. It's looking very perfect, round and a really perfect tree, even though she's not perfectly placed. Okay, but she's looking good. So yes, I'm super excited to decorate her so much. I might decorate her tomorrow evening. I usually take a little while. And I hate that I do that, but tomorrow I'm going to start putting something on there and it'll push me to do it. But Target didn't have um, one of my creamers, the one with the Grinch on there. And it's for, the flavor is called Sugar Cookie. It's actually for the Delight brand creamer. They, they have it with the Grinch on the front. It's all green. And yeah, they didn't have it. So I'll go back later or check at Walmart somewhere. I do have Sugar Cookie whipped cream but this one that i had got today is peppermint my baby girl got that out of there this was only 99 cents because i remember paying way more 
way more for the sugar cookie one. I mean, for the gingerbread. Sorry, y'all keep saying sugar cookie. I had a gingerbread one. Actually, let me taste it right now. Mmm. Very good. Very good. And then my baby girl ended up getting these whisks. Okay, a little festive um, holiday whisk and a spatula. I don't know if you guys remember that um, I showed a William Sonoma uh, baking cookbook. They're going to make something out of there. So they got their little fancy stuff to do, like their vlogs and TikToks. So. Yeah, so that's pretty much what we got out of there. Then we went to eat at um, Olive Garden. I just had a um, one drink, and then I had got an appetizer. And then my baby girls got, like, um, chicken Alfredo, shrimp Alfredo. And then my baby girl got a um, a stuffed chicken ravioli. Stuffed cheese ravioli with chicken. Um, on top. So that's what we ended up having. And then a salad. I only ate a little bit of salad. Um, we had breadsticks and then we had mozzarella. Um, fried mozzarella appetizers as well. So I was just kind of keeping it a little bit of that. And we didn't even finish all of our meal there. Um, I still have a little bit. I probably will end up warming that up um, in the oven because it need to stay crispy. Um, I think what I, what I had was the um, it's called a mitsu. A mitsu. So basically like fried shrimp and like um zucchini and bell pepper these are the things that i use all the time these are really tree sticks right here too okay i use them for okay on my entry table i have this lamp and the lamp is very tall and so we need some balance so my baby girl did a really great job at decorating she kept it a, i would say we would say minimalistic versus what we do all the time but really it's still not minimalistic by any means okay this lamp that i found you guys i didn't tell you guys in the vlogtober vlogs and i was just i just title it treasures it's a lamp that costs in the thousands i can't believe somebody set that out on their sidewalk and that really does give a true meaning to someone else's trash can be your treasure you know what i'm saying it really gives the true meaning of it and yeah so their trash turned out to be my treasure and i'm like wow <laughs> yeah so i found it it's really cute the only thing is that i need to um go buy another bulb i'm using the bulb for my light right here because i'm doing a lot of stuff here in the dining room you know, hot glue gunning back ornaments that um, have fallen apart that I will not go and rebuy. And they were very cute, so I can't find them anymore inside Dollar Tree and other places. So, um, yeah. And also I have one for my mom. It's kind of getting messed up. If I can find a way to kind of tack it back down, I'm going to do that. But even, even if I can't, I'm still putting it on my tree. I, if you're new to the channel and you're not with the Glam Squad, please hit the subscribe button down below. Check out all my vlogs. We are vlogging we are posting we are editing every day for vlogmas okay and so therefore once you're done with this vlogmas you can go back to 2022 and you'll see i talk about um a lot of my mom like ornaments and things like that and how i like my tree so my tree will not be how you saw or how you normally see me decorate my smaller artificial tree that one is usually more uniformed very matchy matchy my big tree is always um, decorated somewhat like a classic Christmas tree where you just have any and everything on there. I usually have ornaments from my girls from second grade that they made for me. So I will never have a big tree that I wouldn't say never. I wouldn't say never. But for the most part, I love a sentimental tree. That's me. I love a sentimental tree. And so I have to put things on there that my girls made when they were in kindergarten. My mom's old ornaments, even if they look, you know, worn out. That's just how I am. All the rest of the house is like to a T, but my big tree always has a sentimental kind of thing to it, okay? Down to the type of tree I buy because it's what my mom used to buy when we were younger, so... That's one thing that I have to do all the time. But maybe one year... Um, I was t saying that a long time ago, too, that maybe this year I would try to do it a little bit different, like do the ornaments a little certain way. So we'll see. I don't know. I could I could change it up and you'd be surprised. 
but I usually just like to do an everything on it tree, okay? And that's just my little sentimental tree. This is from Michaels, bought it in 2020, and I want to let you guys know it has a bow on there. You will see literally a thousand bows around my house, so don't judge. I'm a bow girl. And these are probably decorations that I have accumulated over a five-year span of time, okay? Just, I'm collecting, collecting, but I need to stop. So let's start. This is how it looks. Placing it right here. Um, all right, y'all. Here is my infamous, overly done, extra, artificial, for sure, bouquet for Christmas. I love doing this every year. I use the same ones, you guys. Um, I think one year I started out with them just being like a little bit of something. Then I started adding stuff. It looks really cute. But look at it, y'all. It's so cute. You'll see more of it when I kind of like tour this entryway table for you guys a little bit later on in Vlogmas, though. Um, but it looks really cute. I love this. I lo This is one of my favorite pieces here, the car and the snowman and these cute little tree pickers right here. Um, and this one right here, it really is giving whimsical. But I just wanted to show you guys, this is so cute. And a lot of things I got from like Dollar General, Dollar Tree, and Michaels. And I might have got a couple things from Ross. I believe these came from Ross. So, yes. And just accumulation of things over the years. 